Hello, Gary Westby here, champagne buyer with KNL Wine Merchants, here to talk to you about the Alexander Lebrun revelation, which I have to say is just one of the best champagnes that we have. Price aside, um, this 100% barrel fermented, 100% Meunier champagne all comes from a single plot right behind the winery. Um, Alexander Lebrun's winery in Montalon. Montalon is a really, really special spot in Champagne. And I think along with the rest of the Sud Epernay subregion, um, uh, we're gonna be hearing more and more about these areas as, as the climate hots up, because this is one of the warmest, or rather one of the coolest microclimates in Champagne. And you can see, if you're here in Epernay, and you go a little bit south and a little bit west very, very quickly in not more than, say, six or seven minutes, you'll find yourself down in Montalon um, next to Chavot after going through Pierre. Um, and this cool microclimate um, in combination with the very classic 2014 vintage has just given us a wine that's, you know, um, something from the past, something, something great. Um, something electric, something that has um, the acidity to carry off its minerality, that has um, the brightness and the life uh, to carry off the immense concentration because of the vine age in this plot. So this plot was planted, the young vines were planted in 1950, and the old vines um, go back to the to the turn of the last century. Um, they're some of the oldest vines that I've ever seen living in Champagne. They look like old Zin vines that you would see um, out in Sonoma or in Lodi. I mean, they're almost like tree trunks. Um, it's very, very rare for, for vines to survive this long in, in, in Champagne and to avoid hard winter frosts um, that can kill vines. Um, but it's a testament to Alex's care in his vineyard. He's out there all the time and his father's care and his grandfather's care and his, probably his great grandfather's care. Um, so anyways, let's taste this. This is dosed, it's listed as an extra brute. Um, and it's dosed very, very low, sub four grams. Um, but honestly, you never know that from tasting it because it just shows as a brute because, because of that concentration. Um, the balance is just there. If you take a look at the color, you can see that it's a little bit gold, more golden than most that what, what you'd expect to see at this age, but I think that that's because of the Meunier. Um, one of the real tricks, one, one of the things that Alex does is just genius, is he's the only other producer that I know besides Biacart Samon to do extremely cold, extremely long fermentations. Um, Whenever I would come in March to taste the wines, um, they, there'd always still be RS left. There'd still be sugar left. They hadn't finished even their primary fermentation, let alone their mallow. Um, so luckily when I come in May, they're dry by then. Um, but it's definitely a style to preserve freshness. And preserving that freshness is really the key to this wine because Meunier can be a monster. I mean, it can be so big and this is, God, the aromas, I mean, it's just, it has that chanterelle mushroom. I mean, it has that perfect tart tatin toast, you know, that sort of that beautifully caramelized cooked pear note. But in the mouth, it's dry, it's vivacious, it's so loaded with minerals. I mean, this, um, this is one of the greatest champagnes that we have. Unfortunately, only 500 bottles were made, so it's not gonna last forever. But a toast to you. I hope that you have a chance to taste this small production gem. Um, really one of the greatest things that we have in stock, one of the best things I've tasted all year. So a toast to you. Bye-bye.